okay so you can either you know log into the kahoot.iit or the web version or your kahoot app and then there will be option to you know join so it will ask you for the game pin please give this game pin yeah i think arch is just now you know join so guys if you have face any issues let me know sunil labhishek yes plug getting in so there are uh, uh, 11 participants okay pratesh yes so this is a very good uh, app guys normally we used to play it in our office okay uh, a lot of fun events and other stuff i used to conduct this and, you know if you find it interesting you can also create your own quiz conduct in your company and then uh, you know you can impress others okay this is going to be real fun again guys uh, for others you guys still facing any issues I I signed in. Can you? But my name is not on the screen. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Uh, I already signed. Yes, I can see. Okay, I can see all your name. Three, six, and seven, eight. Ah, uh, so two more. Uh, amudan uh, yeah. myself in can you able to check that my name is yeah your name is here right satish oh, yeah, yeah. okay so you guys can see your name you are all set uh, uh, three amudan, six and uh, mohan yeah. i am also here i think my name is displaying as red me okay no problem so three six uh, nine one more red me i could not see red me here uh i see in the participants the first one that's what i see no that was a zoom participant uh this one was kahoot you just need to uh log into this particular one oh, okay. and then click on join or you can use a kahoot a mobile app you can download the kahoot mobile app and give can it i have the app should i log in as a student or no no you just give something student just give student it will just ask you for a game pin in okay. the in the bottom yeah uh, one second give me one okay. second Okay then what should i do now okay i'm going to send okay you just give the game pin 9445730 oh uh, one second okay come on guys uh, what what's the pin sorry 9 you can see it in my screen 9445730 Uh, okay, should see my name. Okay, now. guys. In the meantime, I'll also explain you uh, the rules. There are there will be twelve questions. Uh, yeah, I can see Mohan now. So everyone has seen. So there will be twelve questions. Uh, some some are multiple choice and some are true and false. Each questions carry the same marks. Okay. Uh, you you have only one option to uh, select your screen. If you if you select the answer once. it will be locked that's it you cannot choose uh, another 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 option for the same question okay so so you have a maximum of 20 seconds for a for a multiple choice questions and a 10 seconds for true or false question okay the faster you answer is matters guys even though if two people answers correctly okay the one with the fastest response gets more points okay so make sure that you are selecting the correct answer you are selecting it faster and uh, you know yeah so that's uh, pretty much the rules okay so there are 12 questions in total if you guys have any questions please let me know now okay all set let's start can we start guys come on yes okay okay i'm just clicking on start yeah i'm with okay all set so the first question what we cannot do with postman okay what we cannot do with postman so the monitoring automation documentation performance come on guys you have 9 seconds more okay 
okay so yeah. so we have got a mixed response so we got three for the you know monitoring right so we can actually do monitoring we have done a lot of monitoring right with our postman okay we triggered a test right so basically don't get uh, you know in a hurry to select the answers take your time read the answers all the options and then choose your answer automation obviously we can do automation okay that's what we have showed we have automated a lot of apis okay so yeah basically performance testing we cannot do with postman okay postman right. is not built for that postman is a web service client which has a lot of good features but it's not meant for performance testing good okay let's go to the next uh, we'll see the leaderboard okay i think sunil has answered much faster ritesh and anirban to follow i'll we see we have a lot more questions to follow so yeah so let's check the next question what is rest guys what is rest so it's a uh, so you can see the options here representational state transit representing state transfer representational oh, no, state no. transfer and none of the above okay you have, you have got four options lost 3 seconds okay we had four got it wrong so it is representational state transfer okay so we it, it is a state that we are representing and then we are transferring it right so this are we are transferring the representative state of a particular object okay good so let's see the i i am glad that six got it right okay let's check the leaderboard sunil again tops this ritesh anirban and abhishek and monika following them good guys we have 10 more questions you know there can be changes in the later board okay so okay let's click on next true or false questions all apis are web services true or false you got only 10 seconds 5 seconds more okay so we got the seven right answers guys basically all the apis are not web services okay all web services are basically apis okay web services are basically an api that you know interact over a network right so this we have spoken about it lot of times okay please read the question properly and then select your answers okay okay let's see the leader board now so sunil ritesh yeah ritesh has a winning streak of three correct answers good okay we have the same uh, leader board okay yeah. let's see you know next question now why we need to prefer api automation over ui automation when we will prefer api automation over ui automation guys because this is less flaky because this is easy to create less infrastructure cost and all of the above you got seven more seconds okay so we have got 11 right answers okay so that should be not much changes in the leaders board as well okay but still ritesh is very close to sunil yeah guys even in the people in the bottom okay you can also still climb up one wrong answers from sunil and ritesh will be on the top okay good let's try to check the next question who found graphql guys who found graphql it's from amazon netflix facebook and ebay okay so you got 12 more seconds left okay i have explained this in our classes okay who used who found graphql first okay oh, no. okay we got uh, seven right answers for facebook yes facebook is the one who used graphql first as i already told their mobile version of facebook got much more success because of graphql okay without graphql the facebook mobile version was lagging very much okay they after this graphql inclusion their mobile app been used so much okay they got so many success stories after the advent of graphql okay that's okay let's check the leaderboard now sunil is still on top ritesh uh, the narrowest margin possible abhishek is still on uh, three third achit and anirban follow guys no worries till you got uh, seven more questions let's check the next one so we can develop different services in different programming language in microservices when we speak about microservices we told we can develop multiple uh, 
uh, you know whether we can develop multiple services in different languages okay we got 10 correct answers yes that's a uh, probability one of the main advantages of using microservices right you can develop different uh, you know different services with different programming languages good so let's click or see the leaderboard okay still you know almost unchanged uh, leaderboards sunil still topping rithesh uh, still at the second abhishek ajit and monica okay let's see the next question if the, it brings some changes what schemas soap can use okay when a soap when we say soap what schemas it can use so json only xml both json and xml none of the above you got 10 more seconds guys okay so almost 11 responded correctly soap can only use xml okay your rest can use xml json at simple plain text or html multiple other things like that but the soap you you can only use xml okay good next not much changes here so we'll check the next question which http method does not need a body choose most relevant one okay you have get, post, update, get, and delete. So, which HTTP method does not need a body? Okay, choose most relevant one. Okay, guys, we know get doesn't need any uh, body, but the, the question says choose most relevant one. The most relevant one here is get and delete. Okay. So, yeah, I have intentionally made this question. I know you guys will be in a hurry. Even the delete call, you don't need to, you know, provide any method body. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, this is a, just a game. I, I hope you would have just clicked on get and then thought about why I have missed to click on get and delete. Yeah. That's okay, guys. Okay. Let's click on next. Okay. Not much uh, changes here. Okay or up three places raghav is the highest climber okay good one raghav uh, next what is a successful response code for delete http call delete http call what is a success response code 201 200 204 and 203 come on guys yeah 204 we got seven correct guys 200 is for your get calls right so it is not 200 for uh, your delete call okay so 204 no content is the right answer yeah that's okay let's check the leaders board now okay one wrong answer and then soon will go on to the second place so abhishek is now leading the board with just 25 points Okay, still you got time, Sunil. No worries. Okay, so let's see what comes in the next question. What schemas REST can use? JSON and XML, JSON, text or HTML, all of the above. The fastest answer is very important, guys. You can choose all the correct answers but the fastest one get more points. Okay, almost all of them got it right. Okay, so you can also use the text or HTML. So yeah, for the one who got it wrong, that's okay. Okay, let's click on next. Sunil again topping, again almost 26 points leads. Okay, Abhishek and Sunil fighting it for the top. Last one more question guys. Uh, Ritesh, you also have a chance. Okay, uh, let's see the final question. Okay, so there is a global variable, okay, ID as 10 and collection variable with the ID as 7. What will be the value of ID if I use it in the collection? Okay, we got four answers till now. Okay, there is a global variable with the same name ID, collection variable with the same name ID, each having different values. What will be the value of ID if I use it in collection? 17, 3, 7, and 10. Okay, we got 10 answers and almost seven of them got it right. It's correct, guys. 
the one with the least scope gets the preference so okay so if you even try to use it it will give you a uh, warning that uh, you know the value of a global variable is overridden okay good i i'm happy that someone got it right good let's see that dashboard okay abhishek is on top now sunil one wrong answers he's for stopping the leaderboard for so long time and then he just moved to fourth i think we have got one more question okay i think uh, we'll have that yeah it's a 12th of 12 we cannot run the postman collection from jenkins true or false guys read the question we cannot run okay so actually we can run okay so the answer is false okay good we got uh, six six splits here let's see the final leaderboard okay the third position is ritesh well done ritesh okay second position we have got achit and at the first position we have got abhishek okay congratulations guys i also will note other other points sunil on the fourth place okay that's okay sunil was leading for a so long time so one wrong answers 